The Nigeria Liquefied and Natural Gas Company, NLNG, sponsors the Nigeria Prize for Literature. The company recently organized a book tour for the 2019 winner of the prize. We showed you what happened during a stop in Bonny. Here's what happened at Port Harcourt River State during the tour. The winner of the 2019 LNNG Prize for Literature, Jude Idada, had a reading session with some students of selected secondary schools in Port Hackett to teach them the intricacies of writing a book and the importance of spreading the information on sickle cell anemia, which is the main thrust of his award-winning book, Boom Boom. Yeah. Excited to meet the award-winning author, the audience gave him a rousing welcome. He began the session by reading chapter 3 of his book, which describes the process on how people get the sickle cell gene and how it alters their lives. Everyone has a specific pair of genotypes which they inherit from their parents. Some have AA, some have AS or AC, and others have the SS genotype. In order not to transfer the SS genotype to your children, anyone with SS should not marry and have children with anyone with SS. Neither should anyone with AS marry and have children with anyone with AS or AC. Neither should anyone with SS marry and have children with anyone with AS or AC because in all of those cases, the chance of having a child with sickle cell anemia is high. He admonishes students to ensure they are well informed about their genotype and blood group. These students are no strangers to the pain having sickle cell disease brings as they share their stories. My relationship with the warrior was that she was my close friend. She died when I was in primary five. I was very sad when I came to school. I almost fainted when I heard that she was dead. My family, like my grandparents from my mother's side, they, brought, like, they gave birth to three SS, SS children. And one of my aunties, she died at the age of 12 and my uncle died at the age of 24. And the third one is the only one that is still fighting for his life. So we all treat him very well because he's the only survivor of this ailment. He read another chapter of his book, afterwards shared some statistics on sickle cell disease and how prevalent it is in Nigeria. More than 50% of the people in the world who have sickle cell anemia, they come from Nigeria. So Nigeria produces over 50% of the new sickle cell cases every year. So the World Health Organization statistics says 150,000 people are born every year in Nigeria with the sickle cell anemia genotype. 40% of Nigerians have the AS genotype. 40%. What is that? That is like 90 million people have the AS genotype. So we are all working time bombs. Having learned more about the book, Boom Boom, the students shared with us the lessons they've learned. I really feel excited to be here because now I know the kind, I know the types of genotypes and I know that by the time in the future I will meet my partner and will know the right questions to ask. This book is actually an inspiration to many of us because it, in, it just enlightens us as students. We know about these genotypes, but we didn't even know how wide they were or how crazy the effects can be if we don't adhere to the instructions we are given. This reading session, hosted by NLNG, was also applauded by fellow authors and the River State Government. It's important for us to continually, as institutions, reach out to the younger generations to inspire them. And so I believe this, this kind of interaction will go a long way in inspiring a lot of very young people. There are several things that I didn't know before now and uh, I've known them now. So I encourage the ministry to partner with um, Jude to also include the, this book in our curriculum. Clearly, the ills of sickle cell is one topic that should be brought to the front burner of national discourse. A statistics reveals that 50% of the world's carrier of the SS genotype are Nigerians.